Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Alan Nascimento versus Jafil Filio. Uh, Alan Nascimento, 20 wins, 6 losses. He's 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights. 1 loss 5 years ago, William Paiva on the Contender Series. Wild matchup there. Got a win, came back to the UFC, fought Tager Ulanbekov, lost a split decision. I actually thought Nascimento won that matchup. And then he destroyed Jake Headley and beat Carlos Hernandez, which he absolutely should have. Minus 210 favorite, 32 years old, 5'8 with a 69 and a half inch reach. Fighting Jafel Filio, 16 and 3, 4 and 1 in his five last five fights. That loss is the that loss is the recent cut of Mohamed Makayev um, in in I think the third round. Um, beat Daniel Perez, should have, and then destroyed Ode Osborne. Called that one to a T, 100% perfect. Plus 175 underdog for uh, Jafel Filio. 5'7", 68 and a half inch reach, one inch in height, and a one inch in reach as well for Nascimento. This fight is going to be awesome. I, I, I really hope this fight gets more hype because the scrambles and the, gr and the uh, grappling in this one is going to be so much fun. You have Alan Nascimento. Who could grapple with the best of them? 16 finishes, 15 submissions. You know, submitting Carlos Hernandez doesn't really mean a whole lot because Hernandez is not great, even with his 8 and 1 record. That's just the reality. Out wrestling Hadley for three rounds in his, on his in his debut when he was 8 and 0, a lot of confidence is a good sign. Losing to Tager Ulan Beckov, where they just grappled for three rounds, I. That, that matchup is awesome to me. I, I'm a big fan of seeing scrambles and guys that are really good at one thing. And I, I really like seeing those things. So that, that's a good one. Now, now, this is a guy who hasn't been finished. Hasn't fought in a while since 2023. January 14th of 2023. So there could be a little bit of uh, ring rust. Javel Filio has fought, the, I believe, this year. Yeah, he's fought this year. March of this year, he fought in uh, um, uh, July of last year, and he's had two first-round submissions, submission wins. You know, he has 15 finishes himself. He's also been submitted two times. Like I said, Makaya finished him in the third round. 28 seconds left of the third round. He gets weird naked choked. Other than that, he's 5, 6, 7, and 1 in his last eight fights. I really like Alan Nascimento in this matchup. I see him getting a submission, probably a little bit later, but I see him getting a submission. The scrambles are going to be awesome. Stay tuned for this matchup. It's going to be a lot of fun. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.